Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna share how to use mock tool, selection tool, and group tool all together. Now, I have opened Illustrator CC, and this one is Photoshop CC. You can do this any types of version of Illustrator and Photoshop. First of all, I'd like to share this uh, Illustrator CC. Before starting this video, I could request to watch my previous videos from my YouTube channel as uh, well. There are lots of basic advanced level graphic design tutorial all together. Okay, first of all, I'd like to click on the title here. Now, right down here, I have written a text on this blocking space this one is learning and learning to you now i can move this test from here to there and all together i'd like to copy by pressing uh, alter from the keyboard more and more okay by pressing alter all together you can uh, copy any types of shape of your on your working space now i would like to select this one all together and all together i'd like to uh, move from here to there as a result i can share with you this uh, selection tool is used as a uh, selecting any types of shape from here to there all together right if i push this on photoshop what with there first of all this is a layer this is a layer and i would like to type uh, text on this working space by pressing ctrl t i have selected this one and press shift and alter all together this one now i would like to copy by pressing uh, alter from the keyboard like this okay more and more more and more on this working space all together i like to move from here to there this is not a possible uh, all uh, text from one place to another so what will you do first of all there are one two three four layers all together after selecting this one by pressing shift you have to select all together all the layers all together now you can move from here to there okay this is the easiest way to move any types of shape on photoshop cc okay this is the difference uh, between Photoshop and Illustrator. Now, welcome back. Now, I would like to uh, share with you another tool which is Direct Selection Tool. If I draw a shape like rectangle tool from here, that will be. Now, there is a, if I select this one, there is a pointer one, two, three, four. This is a circle. Okay. How will you hide and how will you show? this one i mean there are four circles all together this one this one this one and this one how will you hide this one after going to the view menu and you have to go to the show hide bounding box select this one now i like to go to the show bounding box this one is showing and now i would like to hide these four circles by going to the view menu okay and hide shift control and be all together okay this one has been high you can hide any types of uh, circle on the corner okay now i'd like to go to the view menu again and this one two three four now i'd like to change this one after selecting this one all together now i i, I would like to change by pressing the left button of the mouse pointer like this okay I can change this one has been changed there is there are three uh, circles on this here now by pressing control that all together i have gone to the previous shape okay and now i would like to uh change this uh shape by pressing the left button of the mouse pointer and now i would like to do this okay uh, this is the easiest way to use how to change any shape on your working space now i would like to take the color from here this one is another color from the color picture or you can use this one all together okay now there are lots of uh, sub menus here if i select this one here are lots of shapes here this one you like this okay i like this one here do like this 
also my thing this one this one this one okay fantastic okay now i would like to uh decrease the opacity of this shape how will you do here is a hundred percent you can decrease the fill color like this okay by pressing the left button of the mouse pointer and the style and this one is a style you can change from here like this okay this one this one and this one okay and align to selection shape now I like to change the shape of this total shape from here this one is 38.1 to 3 percent I like to increase this one I like to decrease this one okay and this is the easiest method and I I, I think this is the pretty cool idea you can change from here from the corner like this okay now I like to zoom it by pressing control plus from the keyboard okay and I would like to decrease this one by pressing control minus altogether from the keyboard and also you can do this by uh, following another process by pressing control shift alter and space bar here is the minus this one will be zoomed out and I would like to uh, zoom in how will it do by pressing Control shift and space bar you can view or you can zoom in all together by pressing the left uh, right button of your mouse pointer okay this is the easiest way uh, and this is this are fill color stroke color fill stroke color all together stroke weight opacity graphic style appears you can uh change this all together okay and now like to use this one is a stroke color from here I have to select this one going to the stroke color from here you can increase the uh, stroke of this total shape and here is one PT I'd like to increase this one okay and now I would like to uniform I like to change this one and this one and this one okay all together you can uh, make any types of design by using this and these are the spray key to make a awesome design to submit to your client okay now I would like to share with you how to use group selection tool this one is a group selection tool. I like to zoom out by pressing Ctrl minus altogether from the keyboard. Now I have selected this four text one, two, three, four. This is learning and earning tool. Now follow the group selection tool and now I'd like to this place from one place to another place and here also at the time of selecting or using this group selection tool I would like to change any types of uh, text from here to there this one I have selected now I would like to uh, displace from one place to another place and this one and also this one and also this one and also this one okay now I would like to select this one all together. I would like to align and this one horizontal align left, right, and this one center, and this one right, and this one vertical align two, and this one vertical align center, and this one vertical align bottom. Okay, this one are distribute objects, and these are distribute spacing okay these are the easiest way to use move tool selection tool group selection tool today I 
I have shared with you how to use these three tools all together. Now you can practice more and more. If you want to be a professional graphic designer, I cordially request you to watch my previous videos from my YouTube channel which have been arranged on the list altogether, basic to advanced level, step by step. Thanks for watching my videos till then. I cordially request you to watch my next video. Till then, take care. Ta-ta.